Okay, so, all right, hold on one second. I'll actually, oh, I really like Sabotage here. Inspiring Unicorn seems great, though. I can probably take that and feel good about my choice. Um, um, okay, so two things. I do like the $20 quick written deck critique. Doesn't take as much of your time running to get cards. I agree with that. I My one problem is that I don't have a way to test it, but I still think it's an option. Um, I like that a lot. My problem with a $5 tier for signed cards is that it, it's a monthly recurring thing, right? Like they, like they'll, they'll, they'll pay the $5, but then they have to pay additional postage and I have to mail something. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of physical things because I feel like once they get it, either I have to do it regularly. Like that's me and me and Ollie did something like this for freshly brewed, like for like the $3 tier or whatever, the $2 tier, we would send you like signed tokens of us. And that was great. However, once they got it, they didn't have a real incentive to not just lower that tier, right? Because it's just, you're kind of just paying for the physical thing once. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So, here we go. Matthew Ori, we're doing it, buddy. We're doing it. Inspiring Unicorn's insane. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4, uh, and it gives all your other guys plus 1, plus 1. Even if they don't attack, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking this. 3 two twos at instant speed for six mana is pretty insane. This card is also pretty insane. It's just a one mana combat trick in the in green white, which is great for us. Or if we're able to splash red. If you want to log into my account and take everything you can, I know look around at TGO and Iron Chef Sammy. That sounds. Uh, I like the offer, but it sounds a little weird. Like just take everything, just take it all. Oh, really? You're going to third pick me this guy? Okay. The sad thing is there's no white blue and there's no green blue. So, like... I always see this and I get it confused with the five mana one that deals five damage, which I think is actually great. Look how open the blue cards are, man. Do I just take this? Celestia Guildgate's fine, but we're splashing red, so I'm not super excited about it. Gorgon's... I guess it's fine. God, this card's... I'm taking this. This card's really good. Maybe we're just five color. True Fire Captain. 4-3 with Mentor. Whenever it deals dealt damage, it deals... Oh, this card seems great. All right. We're, uh... Yeah. 4-3 with Mentor seems right where you want to be. That pumps almost everything you have. Yeah. 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 Do -do -do -do. Here's a Glaive, which makes me regret not taking the, uh... What do you call it? You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, this card's fine, but I'll, I'm not going to go out of my way to... I'm taking the Glaive again. I'm pretty sure Glaive has won us multiple games in the past two drafts, so... I did not hit the record, so that's really sad. Hopefully I can just find this on the YouTubes. On the, uh... So actually we are... God, when did we start the draft? I don't actually know. Probably about 90, so five minutes ago. So it looks like about 342, maybe. That's going to be obnoxious. Boros Guild Gate seems great. Gateway Plaza seems great. They're both gates. Target creature you control does damage equals power to target player. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um... My problem with this is it's much slower, right? You can't play it on turn one. If you play it on turn two, you can't also play another thing. One tick buck, get the trainer rolling. Appreciate it, Caspi. Thanks, buddy. We're getting there. This guy's actually very, very resilient. Um, it it just 
nugs a lot of the X ones. I think we're actually Boros now. Um, this is this. I'm not a fan of this card, but it does. It is a two two for two, which might be enough, especially if we're pumping things or mentoring. Join shields. Guys, don't ever join shields, okay? Okay. I think this card might be fine in limited. I'm not... Or in, uh, in draft. I know it was really slow and sealed. But I think there's going to be, like, more ground stalls in... Uh... A watcher? What's a watcher? I don't know the cards by name yet. Oh, a watcher in the mist? Yeah, that, that card's great. Uh, smaller wood shaper seems good. Could take locket, but I don't feel like we're gonna be locketing. This lets you actually rip a creature enchantment, uh, a creature or enchantment rather, which is pretty good. It's probably better than the. Wow, that's a late notion rain, man. Yep. Oh, I'll do the watcher. Yeah, that's a good one. That's my favorite watcher. Hey, this is actually pretty good to have. Alright, I don't know if this... Oh my god. I like that this is the one draft we decide not to go... Uh... That's, that's okay, that's alright. Search and for Risk Forest or Planes. Both of those are okay. Inescapable Blast seems pretty insane, though. If we're red, which I feel like we are. Yeah, it's probably just 6 damage, right? 6 damage at instant speed. Call of the Culprit also good, but I think the the just being able to burn their face. If we can get two of these, like, oh my god. Scooby doo doo ba doom ba doom 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 ba doo ba doo doom ba doom. Jeez, another flower and flourish? Find finality. You may put two plus plus one counters on a creature, then all creatures get neck. That's actually really strong. Return up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. This card seems great. I'm going to take the Swift Justice, or the Justice Strike, rather. Um, That feels a little better. I mean, I don't want to splash black just for finality, especially because it's going to kill most of our guys, but this card is insane, and I would not be surprised if we lost to it. Justice Strike is also very good. It just kills most creatures on the spot. Our deck looks good. We're definitely missing some things. We have a lot of pretty strong, like... Like, all these cards are very, very strong. But we're just missing, like, the, the middle pieces. I like this, but I'm also tempted to just take the Parhelion Patrol, because I think it's very strong as well. I'm just going to keep saying cards are very strong. Gird for Battle is pretty cool. Putting, putting counters on guys with Mentor is really strong. Everything's really strong. You got a really strong card. You got a really strong card. Yeah, we'll just play the patrol here. And then we can actually sort it. This card costs four? Oh, I, I thought it cost three. It's less strong now. This is the third flower and flourish I found. It also does help us fix. It gets uh, a forest if we need it, which is not bad. I don't think we're playing this guy. 3-2 for 3. That's exciting. It could be a locket. One of the two lockets. It's a really strong format. I agree with you. This is a really strong format. I think we just take the 2-drop here. I want to take this. I think it's I think it's a stronger card. <laughs> Fade 2 life if you do draw a card. Uh, create a 1-1 one -one soldier token with lifelink. I kind of like the long game of this. This card seems really strong. <laughs> now it's just a meme. Now I'm just kidding. Uh, I like this card, but Luminous Bonds might be better. Actually, there's a lot of cards in this pack I would take. 
this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy. I, I feel like one of them might come back. I don't know if we need a Luminous Bonds here. I think I'd rather have a 4-5 Flyer. Is this card good? I'll take... Oh my god. Is this six pick Light of the Legion? Why do I feel... Now I feel so much better about not taking that flyer. Oh my god. That's bonkers. That is bonkers. It's either Fresh Fresh Recruit here or Hunted Witness. I think the first strike is actually very, very good. Um, I'm really, like, trying to stop myself from saying strong now. Like, because it was such a meme. Like, now I just want to say it. Just out of... Yeah, we're sticking Legionnaire here. Collar the Culprit came back. So did Garrison Sergeant. Whew. I think we can get another one of these. I'd rather just have the removal spell. It kills most of the flyers in the format. God, I thought this cost three, too. Man. I'm really bad at this game. Let's take a Boros Locket. A Boros Pocket at Pop It and Lock It. Strong is a strong word. Oh, Gird for battle. I was hoping one of these Girds would come back. I think Gird is really good. Two counters for one mana that stay around forever. Nope, don't care about you. Prey upon? That is a late prey upon. So right now we'd be splashing for like three three green cards. All of which are single green. Oh, Sworn Companion seems good. Like we want we have like things like Inspiring Unicorn. Or put a counter on each white creature you control. Uh, Celestia Locket seems fine. Probably better than Boros Locket because we're splashing. So that's kind of a nice pickup. Yeah, take card, sure. I think our deck looks very, very good. Chromatic Lantern? Fascinating. Could also be Direct Current. I think Direct Current's pretty good. Uh, being able to just nug. I like that Raise the Alarm is two mana and an instant. Sworn Companions is three mana and a sorcery. I mean, they have Lifelink, sure, so I'll, I'll grant you that. But um, what was the other one that also... The, the, the one that makes Vampires. I guess it's the same exact card because they have Lifelink. Uh, my problem with Prey Upon in a deck like this is that a lot of times your guys are smaller. So like 1-1s, one 2-2s, one two 2-3s, two two and like Prey Upon usually isn't that great. It could be Direct Current, it could just be Chromatic Lantern as well. Yeah, I'll just use the strong synonyms. This card's really brawny. Oh, this is a really sturdy card. Oh, look how rugged Chromatic Lantern is. It's either Chromatic Lantern or Sworn Companions, I think. I think I can get, get by with not caring about Direct Current. Two damage for... I want to take Lantern. Oh, I like both of these. These are both really robust. <laughs> oh, man. This card's great, though. 3-3 three, three that shoots a creature and it's a flyer and it's, a, and it's got float. I'm on board. It's probably better than Lava Coil. We have a lot of Lava Coil effects. We have Burn, Burn, Kill a Thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. And if like if the Sworn Companions, Lava Coil is probably not coming back, but if Sworn Companions comes back. That's seems this is another flower and flourish? That's insane. Why? Why? I guess it's just Pack Beast here. I don't care about Sure Strike, I don't think. Yeah, Dragon seems very, very good. Um, second Joint Shields. I actually thought this was rare. 
It might not be as good if it's not rare. Uh, I'm going to take this wave just because it deals one damage to each creature opponent's control, which could just actually be game breaking in certain matchups. Also, Flower might let us play 24 lands, or uh, 16 lands, 24 cards. I don't think we want Locket and Chromatic Lantern, so I'm going to put the Locket over here. We might. It's possible. Like, we have a lot of top end. This isn't a, this isn't, doesn't seem like a traditional aggressive deck. Ooh, I like Flight of Equinauts. However, Boros Guildgate works a little bit better with um, the Glaive, but I don't think we're actually concerned with that. I'd rather just have the Equinauts because it's very robust. It's a robust creature. Don't care about demotion. Can't block and its activated abilities can't be activated. It's 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 good. Um but I'd rather just take the righteous blow. That kills a lot of creatures in this format. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass I mean like gates are great, but I'm not gonna pass a four or five flyer because of it. And we only have three green cards at present. So I'm not too concerned. What a weird noise. Why did he make that noise? It's... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a Sure Strike. Sure Strike's probably going to deal the same amount of damage as Might of Masses on average. So, Ooh, Blade Instructor is a nice pickup. Uh, this guy's actually fine. Wow, this is a late Deadly Visit and a late Muse Drake. I'm really disappointed. I think this guy's better than the Intrusive Pack Beast. And this came back. Okay, so... Yep. Our deck's looking pretty reasonable right now. What are we cutting here? I don't think Smaller Wood Shaper is actually that great. I can cut that. It's a 2-1 for 4. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. Mm, join shields. Boros Guildgate one time. Wow. How many join shields? There's too many. I'm going to take this 10th District Guard. I don't think we're playing it, but probably not playing Sure Strike either. I don't know if we're playing Glaive in this deck just because we only have one gate. I don't know if I care about Righteous Blow either. This deck looks very good. Hope you guys didn't see me dribble, drizzle, dribble, drizzle, dribble over myself. Dribble, drizzle. Drip. Drizzle. Yeah, Righteous Blow is pretty underwhelming. This is only 12 creatures, but we do have two Sworn Companions and Assemble, which is kind of like three extra creatures. And both of these can get, like, yeah, I think that the two flowers is great because you just get lands and you can play less lands. So we can play 16 lands here pretty easily. Uh, two forests is fine. Two white sources, plus we have flower and flourish. Um, nine, ten, four, five. No, we can go eight, seven. This is eight, seven. We can also get planes with these, so that seems good. Yeah, I'm on board. Actually, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. I'm actually going to cut one of these because if we draw a flower. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I like I like erring on the side of red because the plains and the forests can both get plains with flower flourish. Yeah, this deck seems good. Maybe. It's possible. All right, let's do it. Uh, keep. Gain life, draw a card. Lifelink. 
I'm game. This is just great in the late game. Like, this feels unbeatable in the late game. Like, if you get to 8 mana, you're just like, make a bunch of dudes. Two dudes a turn. What's happening? Wow. Apparently, this is the Flower Flourish format. <coughs> Probably not playing Dawn of Taupe turn two. I'd rather just play a creature. Well, I guess we will play it turn three, though. That time we didn't hit a third land. I mean, we have 16 lands and two flower flourish. So we have 14 lands and two flowers in the deck. So it's 16 cards. So we have over a 50% chance of drawing at least one of them. Wrong one. Hmm. Okie dokie. I think we're going to pass and we're going to try to assure on, on here. Oh, God, I hate... Hate getting rid of Symbol this early, but we don't actually have lands here, so. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we're blocking here instead. That seems better. Uh, cast on you. That's good value. Hey, we hit a land. I like this better because we can uh, mentor onto one of the companions next turn. Don't really feel like we're going to block here, so I might as well attack. We could block one of the lifelinkers, but... Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Like, they attack us down to 10, we can attack them down to 11, and now we do not. Seems good. All right, well, now we're not blocking. Or now we're not attacking anymore. Oh, let's do that. Let's cast Flower. Get a Forest. And play these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can cast this next turn, which is pretty good. Oh, the tokens do have to attack. I always forget that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. That seems. I always thought it was like when you attack, you can put a counter on a creature that's less than you. Yeah. Our hand seems much better than theirs right now. So. Oh, we're doing it. Uh, whenever you gain life, you can. Yeah, that's. This is probably going to take over the game. Actually, should have kept this guy up. I kept this guy up because it's more disposable, but if we want to block, like, a 1-1, one, one, it's probably better to just have the 3-2. Lifelink is OP. Please nerf. <laughs> When you gain, whenever this creature deals damage, you gain half that much life. All right, that's pretty good. <sighs> also, two flower and flourish. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like we have to block. Yeah, we're just dead. Cool. That's actually amazing. unbelievable <laughs> come on man oh crying out loud this hand seems great if I wanted the game to start on turn four This is not the one we want. It's the one of, and like this, even this hand's terrible. <sighs> sure. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, this is rough. I mean, the problem, we had to play around a literal, uh, an uncommon that they had to have two of, so... I mean, I don't feel terrible about that, but it kind of sucks that they did actually have the second of the uncommon, and we were one creature short of surviving it, but, I mean, once we get the 4-5 on board, like... And then we mold a 5 in the next game, so... Good times. This could actually be good with the patrol next turn. So, let's hope we're still in the game, I guess. No, wow, they didn't attack with the Hunted Witness. <clears throat> I feel like the the first type of Hunted Witness is just worse than one of these guys, right? Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Everything is alright, uptight, justice strike. This seems better than taking like an additional infinite damage next turn. We get to toss our gate in game two, so. Toss our gate, gain two. Where did he go? And a guild mage. Alright, so they're doing they're doing very well for themselves. Three cards in hand. Guild Mage by itself is not super, super offensive. Uh, this guy. Thankfully this guy does not have Vigilance because otherwise you'd just never be able to get in there with these guys. <sighs> Six seems to be the sweet spot where they have Overrun and make two twos off of Guild Mage, but... All right, well. <coughs> Something's happening here. Oh, good, you're convoking for something at the end of my turn. Oh, they thought it was five? Oh, that's pretty good. And they're just like, all right, waste my mana. Oh, they thought it was five, that's great. Sure. Yeah, the X dudes convoke spell is a great reason to go into Celestia, so I wouldn't be surprised if they actually had that. But it looks like they're just going wide for flower whenever they draw it, flower or f flourish. Come at me, bro. It doesn't give trample, which is nice. <laughs> See, like, the thing is, like, they're at f 10, and they have, they go to 6 next turn, and this guy gets to mentor onto 1, so they go to 5, and this guy gets guild, guild damage. There's a guild damage. Here we go. There you go. Just flourish. You got it. You're right. You never don't have it. I guess they have Vigor Spine Worm instead, which is still pretty good. X plan is the number of creature cards in your graveyard, which is one. So it's a three-three menace. I don't think I care about that actually. <clears throat> yep, that seems fine. Uh, well, that's just fine. Yep, I'll take three. All right, so they clearly don't have flourish. Otherwise, that was one thousand percent a flourish turn. <clears throat> yep. All right. So we attack with everything, and then they just like they deal three to this guy. They probably block with two, two, one, one. But we get to deal three to their face, and also mentor onto these. <clears throat> and this being a mentor is really strong because then next turn we can mentor onto this, and we get two dudes off the board, which is pretty strong. It's probably better than. Okay, so we're going to stack it where this goes first. Uh, 
this goes on to you. Yeah, and then actually I guess it doesn't matter because Well, it's a two-turn clock. <clears throat> uh, maybe we're dead to trample, but they only have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have 12 damage total on board, so no, I don't think so. Choose target player. I'll choose you. Because that's the only thing that makes sense here. <clears throat> so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And this guy's not attacking, so it's 13. And then we just have two soldiers to block, so we gain two. Alright, so they're not... Interesting. Yeah, it looks like they're planning to trample here. Do, 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 do. So they gain two, they go to five, and we have five in the air. So I'm going to double block this guy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They go to four. And they go to five, and then we kill them in the air is my ideal plan. That doesn't actually do anything now. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird, that was a weird decision. Because now you just can't make a guy and... Okay, you're just dead then. That seems good. Yep, that was a... Alright. Okay, so... Prey Upon might actually be good, because their guys are not huge. God, I really wish I had, like, prevent all combat damage. <coughs> Gatodan, Gatodin, uh, we went 2-1 in the first draft, 2-1 in the second draft, so... Not terrible. Um, how many guys does this kill? Just their one ones, really. Tempted to bring this in, but... <laughs> My plan was to trample, and no matter what, I will be trampling. <clears throat> Alright, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Joint Shields is preventable combat damage for 5, and it's only if you have enough creatures, I think. I mean, like... Actually, Color the Culprit can probably come out for Prey Upon or Righteous Blow, or both. Look at this weird Viashino. Eh. Meh, break the parts, eh? Meh. You know, like that. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Pack Beast is great? Pack Beast has not been... That has not been my experience. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to follow or subscribe to me on Twitch. Really appreciate the support. Uh, take out the Righteous Blow. Is Prey Upon better? We got a bunch of small guys. I don't know if I want to fight. Eh, I'll take out the Unbending the Righteous. But Righteous Blue is probably better than Prey Upon here. <clears throat> it just kills, like, X2s. And your 1-1 your, your one, your one token can kill their X3s. Yeah, Garrison Sergeant with 1 Gate seems questionable, but it's still a 3-3. Three, three, so. Is the Pack Beast vigilant? Because that could make a difference. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. I kind of like that. I thought I had 2. I guess I just have 1. <clears throat> Pray and Blow is actually the name of the uh, independent film that I directed about priests in the drug running business. So, if you guys haven't seen it, you can go check out Pray and Blow. <clears throat> Blah.
What's going on? You're going to play first, right? Elf, elf Archer? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> <coughs> what's going on? Yeah, what's going on? I just saw the headline, Man Tries to Cure Constipation by Putting a Live 20-Inch Eel Up His Anus. <laughs> I'm like, come on, dude. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Three lands? Sure. Hellkite Whelp? I'm down. <clears throat> Matthew Ori, well, way to go on your 2-1, buddy. Congrats. Don't play a thing on turn one unless it's, yes, flower all day. The more you can get of these in your graveyard, the better. I don't want to get blown out by another float of flower. So we got a turn three, a turn four, and then a whelp. That seems good. I'm, I'm game. <clears throat> oh, all right. Nice. Nice. Hold, Hodge Gulashi, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Well, this guy can't be blocked by anybody. Green. Oh, actually, white's better, because now we can assure. Well, we're definitely attacking here. Hellkite Whelp was great at picking off these little idiots. <clears throat> That's rude. Don't be mean to them. Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> Is it bad to have multiple disinformation campaigns and spy bugs? Uh, I wouldn't play more than like two disinformation campaigns. Everything else I would probably be on board with. <clears throat> All right, so you're not gonna. This guy's just gonna keep keep checking you until it wrecks you. Check you until you wreck you. I don't know if that's that's not how that goes. Check you until you. So they're gonna go land five. Um, actually, we're going to have enough guys that it shouldn't really matter. They're going to go land five something. We're going to go land five Hellkite Whelp. They're going to go land six, and then it should be... F this is interesting. I don't have a white yet. I think it might be worth just assuring here. This is... This is really good value for me. Ornery Golem for a Conclave Guild Mage? Sure. Yeah, that seems fine. That was the only creature of yours I cared about. <laughs> Cradrath, we are currently... Uh, we are 0-0 in this league. This is our first round. But we have gone 2-1 and 2-1 with double Sultai decks. So... That's where we're at right now. Oh, you're going to play a big thing? Yeah, is that what you're going to do? You're going to play a Siege Worm? A Siegeums McWormums? If you will? All right. <clears throat> Welp. <laughs> hi -oh. No attacks here. And I'm just going to pass because I have no tricks or anything, so. Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> so they play another one? What happened here? What was the three mana for? Oh, the, yeah, Luminous Spawns because, of course, they have it. Yep, wasn't surprised. Um, 
So we're just going to inescapable. We're going to kill this dude next turn. I'll trade with one. Just to kind of keep it a little more manageable. They have one card in hand. I don't think we have a way to get rid of this, do we? I bet we do. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, that's very good. Yikes. Do you like nuts? You know, JSFs, I do like nuts. <clears throat> Here's hoping they don't have plus three, plus three as their last card in hand. Okay, they did not. Ugh, so frustrating when you have literally four one ones on the board. I has a sad. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, one, two, two. Sure. Three, three. I'll take it. Just alpha here. Come on, really? Come on. I'm going to take this because we have unicorn in hand. Which is pretty good next turn. And this guy doesn't have trample, right? Can't be blocked by more than one. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that anyway. God, this match seems so bad right now. Any green and just being able to play assemble... Um, <clears throat> for three two twos with lifelink is oh they're actually knights aren't they they're vigilance Arr, that's worse. I really want the lifelink to bring me back. Wake me up inside. I'm just gonna chump here. I don't feel like taking six unfortunately, or fortunately I guess I don't know. Hey. Oh man. Oh we need a green though right so we just go. Actually, we don't need the green. We can just play this and keep this in hand for the flourish part. <clears throat> so what do we do? They just like, they go triple block here, right? And then they go single block here, and then we give... Yeah, this seems fine, I guess. I kind of just want to... We'll wait to see what happens, I guess. It's really sad this guy can't attack. <clears throat> yep. 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 Really? Really? Um, this ordering is fine. We will cast a sure on you. Yeah, we actually have no reason to get the green with this. We can actually just wait to draw green and try to... Uh... So we got a 14 here, which is actually putting us pretty far ahead. <clears throat> and this also can compete with this guy in the future turns. So, Of course, if they just top deck uh, their second flourish, we're dead. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, exaxes. Uh, oh, that's, that's nice, but it is a sorcery. Unfortunately. So we can put counters on these guys. They can block one of them. Keeping this guy back is kind of sad. I feel like we're pretty okay here. I think we just want to get a little wider. If you know what I mean... I don't, I don't know what I mean, so. Yo, yo, Luke. Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. Um, I'm just going to pass here. This doesn't really do much now, but this guy's problematic. But if they attack with this guy, our, our crackbacks are pretty good. Also, any removal spell for the 6-4. God, I'm really sad that a 6-4 is... Keeping us down. Alright. No plays still. Oh, no plays. <laughs> that seems fine, actually. I mean, if she's going to tap, she's probably going to attack. Oh, that was a nice...
Yeah, now I'm going to probably gird onto these guys. Um, actually, I want a 2 2. I want a 2 2 2 small gentleman. Do we just alpha here? <clears throat> I don't think so. Like, these are pretty easy blocks, so probably just attacking with this guy. Opponents at 23, but we're at 14, and we have a better board, so. I mean, they have six more life, but here we go. Here we go. Just flower. It's got to be flourish. Locks and restore? That's actually fine. All right. Well, now I'm wishing I played the... Really? Yeah, that's a six I'll take. Give me a green. Oh, that's very good. Four, five, six. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Um, do we actually just alpha here? One, two, three, four. We gain five, so we go to 13. I feel like just this guy's fine. Yeah, Alpha Vein, using the Unicorn before we have to. Is not ideal. Alright, so they're casting things very slowly. That's fine. Use the Dragon? I mean, I hope he meant to Convoke because that seems pretty obvious. Um, I actually kind of just want to get this guy off the board, to be quite honest. I think this is a fine trade. I think our board is still pretty superior if we hit, uh, Flourish. Come on, dude. I'm almost tempted to keep this guy back now because we're not going to win this race, but, like, if they attack with this, I'd like to be able to block 2-2-3-3. Two, two, three, three. The problem with this guy was we just can't chump block it forever. And them going to 18 is not ideal. Yep, that's fine. All right, well, let's hope we can hit something that's not garbage now. <laughs> that qualifies. That qualifies as something that is not garbage. So they have six creatures. We have four creatures, which means we can block everything. Um, still keep some things alive if they play Flourish. And we go to two. But we gained three, so... All right, they hit a land. Yep, this is pretty good. Literal opposite of garbage. <laughs> wow. The hits keep coming, it seems. Um, so we can actually swing for eight here. <clears throat> uh, play a guy, same situation. And then they're just dead on board. So... Also, if they give their guys plus three, plus three, we can block this guy for six. And then just shoot them for six. Yeah, this seems like... <laughs> Aw. Aw, isn't that cute? Well, this guy would have been done a lot of work this game. And it's going to be just a green land. Let's, let's finally get a green land. How about that? Oh, It would have been a planes. Just a strike. Forest. All right, so three turns away. Yeah, our deck's pretty sweet. Um, I kind of agree with this actually. Now that we have, I didn't realize we had only one gate. I, I mean, I realized it, but it didn't really. Pro I didn't process it. So, I think Pack Beast is probably a little better in that situation. Ooh. 
Welp. Good times. Uptight, everything is all right. Come on, man, join the match. Don't let our pairing be for nothing. You did it. Locket might be better than Lantern. Um, I don't know. Being able to fix your green and your and your red is pretty good, though. Actually, maybe that's true. I don't even know. I can give it a shot. Like again, like this is the third draft, and this is the first time I've played non. Obviously, I'm going to play Celestial Locket because we have. Uh, that's our splash color, and I don't think we need help with the white or the. The green. My wife wanted me to tell you hi, so hi. I don't even know if that's true. I can't even tell when you guys troll me like that. Okay. But, I mean, getting four white, not impossible. Could be better in the late game to just draw a card. Boros Locket is also an option. But, I mean, I'm not playing Chromatic Lantern to fix my... Or to, uh, to ramp, I'm playing it to fix. So, I guess we'll find out. We can actually flower here, get a forest... Seems like a decent option. Especially because we don't have a hand that's really going to reward us for uh, having Flourish in it. But I do like having Assemble. Assemble on six is great. Great! It's going to be a Boros Guildgate. No, it was not. It was a Blade Instructor. Our opponent's name is Smile Papa 4. I don't know what the 4 is. I wonder if there's a, a clan of Smile Papas, and this is the fourth of their name. Being able to just make tokens from here on out is pretty good. Not in a creepy, shitty way, just a nice hello. Tell your wife I said hi. <laughs> oh, that's real awkward. Don't do that. Um, I actually think I just want to play this guy. 3-1 is rough when they have Hunted Witness in play, but... Why don't you have lifelink, you dummy? Can't you be better than your friends? Four four, four four, four four, and seven years ago. Yeah, that's actually great. Now we can get that, get that, men, live that mentor life. That was pretty boss. If only one of these had lifelink. Uh oh, five mana. Five mana, do, 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 do. Oh, just another one. Oh my god, if I had another land and I could just kill this guy, that'd be pretty hilarious. I like that we can just block this guy all day. If we had a six land, we can make a dude block it, draw a card. Oh yeah, this card was, this was a great pickup. Whoever suggested this one was just, just wonderful. Just a wonderful person. We do need one more land. Our hand is our hand sets sets a blaze with uh, one more planes. Sets a blaze? That doesn't even make any sense. What a bunch of nonsense! What a bunch of jive this guy's talking. I've been enjoying uh, the Ravnica draft so far. We're not doing anything, so I might as well just make a guy. Is it worth taking the four here though? <sighs> make a guy, don't block. Yeah, I think we can take four here. I'd rather have the extra guy on the board. It's more versatile. Plus, we can start pressuring this Hunted Witness. 
Smile, Papa. Yeah, that guy's fine. Oh, more things? Hey, they. Ugh. Baby shark, do 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 do. Should put it on the hunted witness. That'd be kind of funny. It is actually a three-turn call. Oh, actually, we kill them next turn. Holy smokes! If we can hit a land, we just kill them, right? Oh man, that would be gas if we just get to inescapable blaze their brain. Yes. <laughs> it's fantastic, dude. Oh boy. We had a good time. Bingo. Got him. I kind of like Sure Strike in this matchup. It seems pretty strong. <laughs> seems pretty robust. That is a robust spell. <laughs> What's Dawn of Hope? I don't know. Do I know what that is? I don't know. Oh, this one? Um, yeah, the 1-1 one, one bird seems insane. You just, like, actually draw a card every turn for two mana. I mean, they have two of the 4-4s, four so I'm definitely keeping Color the Culprit in. Um, everything else seems fine. I kind of don't want to cut anything. I'll, I'll risk it. I'll risk it for Lay Biscuit. How many gates does it take to make Glaive really good? Um, I think three is probably where you want to be. Uh, this, card, this hand is actually fine. We're missing white, but we can turn one flower into a land. We have this guy on three. There's a little cutie bird. Yep. Now we're online for assemble at some point. Also, gird on the sworn companions is pretty good if they don't have any. Oh boy, can I get my can I get a mountain into whelp? That would be nice. Okay, we're not gonna do anything here, which is kind of sad. Well, isn't that sad? Sworn Companions is just two healer hawks, right? Hmm. Alright, that's a lot of Sworn Companions. So next turn we can actually play Locket and Gird around to these guys. Ideally we'll draw a Boros Guildgate. We can go Locket, Guildgate, Gird for battle on these things, and then we're just in... Oh wow, we're doing we're doing well for ourselves. And back. <laughs> Seems good. All right. And we're one man away from just assembling. And they're missing both land and green. Ooh. Boo. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. And we have a sure in hand. If they want to kill one of these guys, we just make it a 3-3. Three, three. I'm playing this because it gets us closer to casting uh, Flight next turn. If we hit a land, we can tap everything but one of these. That was a pretty timely forest, I think. They're going to play a 4-4 four -four with Vigilance because they have two of them. Here it is. It's your boy. That was also fairly timely. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play, just play Flight of Equinox. It seems pretty good. It's probably better than both of these, right? Because we can just do that next turn. Yeah, I like that. I didn't need baby shark stuck in my head. Well, you know what? Too bad. Too bad. 
Uh oh, here comes a Naya charm. Yep, crashing canopy. Seems amazing. If we draw another red, being able to kill this guy. Why don't they attack with the. Oh boy. One, two, three. I don't actually think we play this guy. I think it's probably better to just keep up a sure, but I think the I don't think there's any situation where we're not. Um where we're not casting a symbol instead. Like our hand is just bomb six drops right now. Power of Devastation, what's going on? You could have saved both you could have cast both recruit and convoke flyer for the same turn. Oh, you're right, actually, because we had Yeah, but then I wanted to keep the two two up. I don't know why. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's a good point. Convoke is Convoke is tricky. Uh, I'm going to take two here. We're at 17. I don't see any reason not to. They have three cards in hand. We have three cards. I guarantee our three cards are better, right? There's no way. Uh oh. Maybe not? Equinox? Yep, all right. I mean, we have an escapable blaze, so I'm not. Ooh, biscuits. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, well, hopefully you don't luminous bonds this, because I really don't feel like having it sitting on the board doing nothing. If you want to kill it, though, I'll take all the counters you're willing to give. Oh god, they're gonna kill it. Oh, I don't care about that. I don't even care about that a little bit. Alright, so you have one card in hand. And none of these are super impressive, unfortunately. Whoa! I think we just might have done it. Did we just do it? Did we just break it? This is like a million damage. Everything is at least a four power except for these two. Yikes. And then we gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 life. So, like, there's no realistic crackback they could have, except for, like, this in return, right? But 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They could block this and just trade all three of the... Oh, I guess they have this guy, too, so they can actually block with... I mean, there's no way they can block where we don't take two guys down and then all our guys get counters on them. I think it's probably better to do this next turn instead. Yeah, I can just pass here. Also, they have Vigilance, which is super strong. I think we probably just went on the spot, I would imagine. Yep, Temple Garden is fine. Yeah, this is a pretty easy... Uh, symbol. And Flourish. Oh, baby shark. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> that seems good. Who can say? Pass and sack the locket seems worse than making three two twos. Especially when that is our sixth land for flourish. Yep, you're going to pump that guy. That's a fine trade. This is a lot of damage. I didn't do the math, so hopefully it's just correct. Yep. They said no, we don't like this block. These guys are all 4-4s. Four <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So... One, two, three. Three guys are getting through, and the smallest guys are three, 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 four. So they're taking at least ten. Uh, how many cards does your play draw you? Mine would have drawn you two. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I have lo I, I say this often, but I have actually lost cube games because I chose to draw with Consecrated Sphinx instead of just winning. So um, 
I agree with you that card draw is winning. I think we kill everything else. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're gaining a lot of life here. Also, I don't envy their blocks here. We also have Inescapable Blaze in hand if we ever hit a second red. Like, If this ever dies, like all of the white creatures, which is literally every creature on board, gets plus one, plus one. Jana, what's going on? <laughs> so we meet again for the first time on Celestia Ravnica drafts. Oh, baby shark. Do, 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 do. This is uh this blocking is the most complicated. I would just be like I'd be like I'm done. I give up. I'm done with the game. I just concede. This combat stuff. I think you have a common here turn. If you cast three more instant or sorcery spells, this is basically never coming back. It's just a 3 2 haste guy for four. It's just like the next evolution of this guy, if you can cast it. But. New high score! What does high score mean? New high score. Is that bad? Is that, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Is that is that good? That's a good grandma's boy quote, actually. I feel like if they had the plus 9, plus 9, they probably would have used it sooner. They're at 25, we're at 15. Like, they have a way more of an incentive to push through the damage. Um, yeah, we're definitely killing you instead. That's fine, you die, you die. You trade, you take 4, 8, 4, 12, 17. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I don't think they have anything but pumping this guy. Yeah, that seems fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure our board is significantly better at 29 life. Um, and they're virtual 5 if we can hit a second red. See, this is where Chromatic Lantern would be nice because we'd have inescapable blaze mana. No blocks. I will take 6, go down to 23. Yep, that is fine. And so they have three blocks. They block the three biggest guys, which is five, three, and two. They take six. They can't block. Oh, they can block this. I don't know if they're going to, though. They're probably going to block here, so they're going to take five. Block two of these guys. They'll take... We'll put the counter on the Vigilance guy. Not care, because that's what they'll block. So they'll take five, six, seven, eight, nine... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're dead here. You're going to block the flyer, so I'm not really too concerned with that. I'd rather just put this on the Vigilance guy. Because that's the guy I care least about. The first strike is better, and the lifelink is better. So You could also not block here. Yep. 4-4 four, four on 3-3, three, 4-3 three, three on 2-2, two, two, and you're taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And Inescapable Blaze again. Every game with the inescapable. It's it's apparently inescapable. Fry Wilco, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. I feel like our deck is pretty good. I don't know. Oh, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 
Yeah, lava axe that is uncounterable and can also hit creatures. That's that's really that's really where you want to be. Opponent conceded the match. What does that mean? Is that bad? The six damage six damage to any target. Is that good? I don't know. Is that good? Can someone tell me? Is that good? Baby shark do 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 do. <sighs> Is a two man instant vindicate good? Uh, I think so. I will play first. I will keep this hand. It, if, if we get a red, we're fine. We got Dawn of Hope into this, into this. Which I'm pretty much okay with. Our opponent is 1-0, so we have, we have a leg up there as we've won more matches than they have, and their win could have been a fluke. Who knows? Who knows how good Nathan is? He was born in 1912, though, which makes Nathan's, how, Nathan's 106 years old. Good lord, Nathan. Get it together. I'm proud of you for still, uh, for still being able to play Magic Online and drafting as proficiently as you as you have been for 106 years old. Mountain, you stupid idiot! I hate you. You're not even my real dad. Oh god, Mountain is so good there. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Mountain's still good. I'm still on board with Mountain. I'll take a green, I guess. Um, we'll cast Flower. We can't really do anything with it, unfortunately, but eh, if at least we got it. Sure. What what what's the big deal? What are you saying right now? Meh, I'm Frank Lepore, meh. Is that, is that what you want here? Is that what you want? Oh my god. Why are you the way that you are? Let's see this guy get countered. Oh, wow. He's stuck around. He's probably dead to like any two damage spell, right? Uh, but we should we could we could start making tokens soon, which is super nice. So long, inspiring unicorn. Yeah, he's probably still dead. I have to assume there's a, a random card in your hand that's worse than this. Yeah, that's definitely just... You're just going to... Instead of bouncing it, you're just killing it, which is pretty fine. My name is Nathan, and I feel attacked. Hi, Nathan. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Nathan, and I feel attacked. Is Hypothesis also good? Like, you draw two, right? And you discard a non-land card. So they basically drew two cards, played two cards. Wow, back-to-back -back Arclight Phoenix decks. That's interesting because, well, it's a mythic, so. Eight mana. We can kill this guy. We can make a 1-1. One -one. We can play this and just block. I'm just going to kill this. I don't foresee you playing three instants or sorceries in the same turn. Do we have too many forests? Do we just want one? I don't even know. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. I'm a fan. God, they have six, six, six cards. We have four cards. Can you just play baby? I don't know. I, I might get demonetized for playing Baby Shark. It has over a billion, over a billion views, which is pretty unreasonable. Yep, that's a good dude. We couldn't kill that with Justice Strike anyway, so I don't feel terrible about it. 
If we can hit a land and play Light of the Legion, I'm okay with it. That's a good hit. That's what we're looking for here. Oh, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Rampaging Monument. Bounce this guy, attack for five. That seems good. If that's what your plan is, buddy. I'm on to you. Here we go. Sonic Assault. Oh, God. And you pump this guy? This deck seems great. And we took two? Oh, we're basically dead. This game's over. One, two. We can only do one thing this time. I guess we can play both of these, or we can play this and make a guy. Trample's pretty good. Trample's a hell of a drug. I guess we'll try Ornery Goblin. Block here, take three. Ugh, trample, why? True Fire Captain could have been good. We can't play True Fire Captain and anything else, though. I think we're dead. They have four cards in hand. Oh, they just replay this, right? It puts us to two, and we're basically dead. Uh, yeah, that's game. Why even? Why even? Uh, Crushing Canopy is a card I wish we had. I really want this because it destroys the uh, stupid 3-3 three, three artifact creature, but like I'm not going to bring it in just for that when we have a ton of other things that do the same thing. I don't actually think we want to board anything. Am I ever getting on board with MTG? I just don't have a reason to. Like, I play a lot of Modern. I play some Commander. Um, I just don't have a reason to really go in on a second, a, th a third form of Magic. Like, first Paper Magic, second Magic Online, third MTG Arena. Or MTG Arena, not MTG Arena. That's MTG Arena Arena. Um, I just don't really have the incentive to do it, you know what I mean? Like, Magic Online does everything I want it to do, especially, and, and more so because, like, Legacy, Vintage, Modern, Cube Drafts, um, Standard, and, and Limited are both on here. Uh, we're trying out Celestia Lantern instead of Chromatic Lantern. Celestia Locket, not Lantern. A White Land could be good here. I would be on board with any White Land. I, I'm on board. I'm going to be real sad if they have like a one damage spell that can only be dealt to an attacker or a blocker and we just didn't play our 10th guy. Post combat. 10th district guard. You. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Sweet ability, 10th district guard. Sweet ability. <clears throat> All right, well, they haven't done anything yet. They haven't done anything yet. Do something. Well, we're not going to play anything here. If they play a creature next turn, we can pack beast it and get in for another four, which is nice. They have to play EOT something, right? No? Okay. Okay. Island number dose. Guildgate number Un. No mana. Okay. Well, we're doing good here. We're going to play Hellkite well post-combat. It will likely get Disdainful Stroked because you have seven cards in your hand and it's the only counter that would counter it in this format based on your mana. But uh, our hand is still pretty good even with. Yep. And never fails. Hey, she has two toughness. What do you want? That's fair. You know what? That's a fair point. 
Yep, that guy's getting tapped down. Go to six. This card is pretty good on board against the uh, the red blue deck. Don't antagonize your opponent; just kill them. All right. Well, can't but can't we do both? Direct current seems pretty unimpressive. I'm just going to murder your face. That <laughs> seems good. All right. We're having a good time. Biscuits. I think we're fine like this. I don't really see like a. Hey, bro, my blaze. It's inescapable. Have you seen my blaze? It is straight inescapable. I think our deck is good. I don't really feel like we have to sideboard anything here. Hey guys, you know why Frank isn't streaming anymore? Yeah, he got arrested for arson. Yep, mulligan. Um, this hand is pretty iffy. I'm not going to go to five though, especially on the draw. We have two removal spells and a 3-3, three, three, which I'm pretty okay with. If they play an Electrocutionist, yeah, we're just Electromancer. I'm just going to kill this guy. Of course, you give me a thing to play instead. Yeah, this guy seems too relevant, though. Making all your spells cheaper in the Spells Matter deck is not where I want you to be. Now we're only one, one turn behind on creatures. That's actually pretty good. I like that a lot here. We also have three damage in hand with this, and uh, if they want to put anything on the board, we, we can play Hellkite Whelp if we hit a land. Which we did, but it's an awkward mountain again. I assume they still have Disdainful Stroke. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um, this is actually fine because we're just going to play Whelp here. Also, the life gain seems very good when, they're, when their game is to incrementally uh, deal us damage from things like Sonic Assault. Uh, what directed this into Naya Colors? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I can't remember. It was a while ago. <laughs> I mean, I, I know that sounds funny, but it was like, you know, about an hour and a half. Um, I know we... What did we open? We opened something good? I don't know. Well, that's aw See, this is awkward. If it was another planes, we could actually cast it. Um, however, it is nice to only have to draw one. Yeah, this is where we're going to Sonic Assault us. Hypothesis. -al. Yeah, we're just going to inequity here. Uh, 
Uh, or integrity, rather, not in equity. Country road, take me home. This creature needs flash. If this creature had flash, it'd be very, very good. I'm, I like literally have not come up with a situation where I'm ever playing it as just not a two-two for two. Also, being able to keep a sure up, which is indestructible, is pretty strong. Uh, if we can just save this guy from three damage or something. Yep, that's fine. I mean, this is... this is It deals with the guy, but it, we still have four power on board and they're at nine. So... Also, now a sure is an option. Any green and... Boy, we just got... Just got the, the world, right? So they have six cards. If they want to play Sonic Assault, they have four cards. I feel like we're in good shape here. Arclight Phoenix. Sure. Inescapable Blaze. Oh, that would have been so good, right? Really? Another mountain, though? Come on. The problem is they have Sonic Assault here, which is pretty frustrating. I'm just going to attack with this guy. If you want to block, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to throw this guy away just for the one damage. Yeah, this is fine. If you have three spells you can cast in the same turn, then so be it. We also, Inescapable Blazes also just went on the spot. Hypothesis. I'm going to cast this because it is a counter, which is irrelevant. God, the second half is so strong, though. But, I mean, it, it gets around Disdainful Stroke. Like, if their hand, they have four cards, it's very possible they have just Disdainful Stroke in hand. So, we'll just play with what we have and... Oh, that's so ridiculous. It's so bad. So now they're going to Sonic, Sonic Assault here, discard a card, I'm sure. Take one. Target creature you control is not sure. So their whole hand is just jumpstart cards. Um, so the, the only reason we need the green is to play this. So just going to not play it. Ugh, being able to flower into a forest, play the forest, and then play this is just insane. Yep, that's a dude. Oh, direct currents into the graveyard. Just kill this guy. That seems good. Yep, things are falling apart now because we did not... Because uh, we... Just, I don't know if we got... I don't know if he's even getting greedy. We have a lot of turns. I'm not sure they can actually attack with this guy anymore. 
They have maximum altitude, plus one, plus one in flying. Yeah, that's that guy's fine. They have one sonic assault, and they have one gravitic gra gra gravitic punch. Hmm. Like we definitely have a lot of time. Yikes. All right, well, this is getting worse. Oh, and also returns to the battlefield, which is pretty brutal. So if they can somehow play, like, Sonic Assault into one other cheap card. Actually, they could do that. No, they only have one. They don't have enough blue. They, I guess they tapped incorrectly. <clears throat> the problem is, even if we flourish, like, they can respond with uh, Sonic Assault, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh my god, come on, dude. There are 16 lands in our deck. Seven lands in our 23, 23 card deck. We've drawn, we've drawn seventeen cards. Five, six, seven, nine of them have been lands. That's rough. Out of sixteen. Like the problem is we have no. There's no recourse for it, right? Like they can just do that, and we don't have any way to punish them for it. I'm still regretting this stupid... I think this Assemble would have won the game. We just didn't know. We had no idea. Yep. Discard Sure Strike. The problem with Skyland Flourish is that Sonic Assault in the Graveyard costs two mana, which is almost impossible to play around. Yep, I will take every turn you give me. I'm almost tempted to flower now just to thin the deck so we can probably try to hit an inescapable blaze sooner. I have to assume with five cards in hand they have a disdainful stroke. Like, it's just... Yeah, that's that's disgusting. Come on, blaze one time. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, that's such gas. I want to make sure I click it correctly. Oh, wow. Like you do. Like you do. Yep, you got it. Deal. Yep, that's pretty sweet. First 3 0, and it is with a Celestia Boros combo. Inescapable Blaze, ladies and gentlemen. Gets the job done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.